Hello everybody, how are you doing my people, my people? Welcome to another interesting edition of No Holds Bad with IT. This is a channel where we say the way it is. No apology to anybody. How are you doing? Hope you are keeping safe. How is your family, your jobs and everything? Please subscribe to this channel then we'll come back to gist, alright? Thank you so much my subscribers in the house uh, those of you who have dropped your thoughts on this on my videos thank you very much i love you like no man's business uh if you listen to some of my videos in the past i said i'm gonna do a video on uh this popular quote the one quote some people know in the bible Touch not my anointed. <laughs> I do my prophet no harm. Anytime we we talk about uh, pastors, what they are doing wrong, the next thing, don't touch anointed and all that. That scripture is in two places in the Bible. About one, we have it, you know, David wrote uh, a lot, two thirds of the, of the Psalms, if I may say that. We can see that uh, uh, quote, that scripture in Psalms 105, verse 15. And then we can see it in 1 Chronicles 16.22. Those two places, 1 Chronicles 16.22 and Psalm 105, verse 15. Now, what I intend to, I've said it, I, in fact, I've said it in more than three videos that I'm going to treat this touch not my anointed. And as Christ, we have it. As God, we have it. And I have another material to back it up. A, something you might have seen that a real apostle of God said about all these uh, uh, pastors that have put their hands in iniquity. Now, let me tell you the background to that scripture. The two places where it is quoted in the Bible, they are just reference to one another, all right? Uh, you know David. David was uh, a king in Israel, right? Now, before he was anointed king, uh, yeah, by Samuel, Prophet Samuel, while, uh, and while Saul was still on the throne, he was anointed, kept by the side. But Saul was still king in Israel. And then Saul began to pursue him. Saul began to, you know, Saul wanted to kill him. So David began to run away from Saul. And then one day, Saul became very tired. And he, he rested in a cave. While sitting down there, he dozed off. He slept off. And... David met him there. David had the choice to kill him right there and then. Because Saul has portrayed himself as David's enemy. Despite the fact that David uh, helped him uh, play music for him whenever he's, he's running not. And then David uh, was a, f a best friend of uh, Saul's do uh, son, Jonathan. So David met him there. He slept off. He didn't know what was going on around him. So David, even uh, some of the men that are following David say, Hey, this is the opportunity to kill this man. This is your, this man is your enemy. Kill him smooth. Let us pose him. He said, no. He will not lay his hands on the anointed of the Lord. Kill. Not talk about him. Not bring out his wrongs by saying it. Not correcting his wrong deeds. So he, David now, in order to prove to Saul that, hey, I had the opportunity to kill you, he cut part of Saul's robe. Saul was fast asleep. He caught it, left the scene, and went and stood afar off. And then he called to Saul and said, my Lord. He said, call him my Lord. Hey, this is, look at this. And uh, let me 
Look at this. I cut this from your from your uh, robe. I had the cho just to prove to him that he had the choice to kill him. So I caught this from your robe. And the Bible even say he even regretted that he caught it. So the touch not my not that you are quoting is about if you if I if I see Johnson Suleiman today and I slapped him, yes, I have touch anoint, anointed. <laughs> In any case, is Popo people the the security around him will not even allow <laughs> they allow me to get to that extent. You know, in a situation in Nigeria where, uh, uh, where army and um, officers in, in Nigeria army, a major is following Suleiman up and down, uh, police and everything, not him alone. They have security, they have army, they have police as their escorts. And then you, they are member, <laughs> the Lord is your shepherd. It's good, it's good. The oil, the water, they are protecting you. But they have armies. So what are we saying? It is physical assault. That's what David, David said that. David, you know. So later when David began to write Psalms, he put it in the Psalm. It's about slaying Saul. It's about killing Saul. Not, not, not bringing out, not saying the wrong things he, 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 he did. So that's that's just the explanation of that your of that thing you say all the time. Is it wrong for for uh, for I mean is it right? Things that this this man is doing and a lot of them it, are they things that that give glory to God? Are they right? Are they the right things to do? So watch this video, please. You've seen it. I've played it before. I'm so glad I came across it. This was a video that you see. I want to say a word of prayer for you. The people that are watching me, the thing that one move, that one person that will take you to to the limelight, God will bring the person your way. God will bring the situation your way. All right, I'm not saying is this man of God, this apostle, he has been out there, but trust me, a lot of us did, have, did not hear about him until we saw this video. I personally began to follow him on YouTube and Facebook. I, I even listened to his message this morning. Yeah. Why did I say that prayer? This video that has become um, tools in the hands of us, in the, in the hands of YouTubers, content creators, was played on Maureen Badejo's channel. She said it that day. She said somebody sent it to her. So she played it. And since that time, we have been using it. Okay, when uh, Prof. Uh, Apostle Richard uh, Takin preached in his church on September 4th, 2021, he never knew that this video would be an instrument in our hands now. That's why I said that prayer. That move. Somebody sent the video to Maureen. Maureen played it on our YouTube channel. Now it's it's we are using it, you know, to to tell all these fake pastors that they are doing the wrong thing. All right, so that's why I said that word of prayer. That person, that move, that you will make, that person that will, you know that come your way, that will give you a push to the limelight. The Lord will bring them your way. Yes. So I'm not saying that pastor is not wasn't popular, but trust me, a lot of those you don't know about him before now all right that's why i said that prayer so let's let me show you the yeah, i've shown you before and i want to show you again so that for you who are not touching anointed so that you can see it enjoy it i hear some preachers saying that the media beaming light on their immorality is an attack on the body of christ it's not an attack on the body of christ it's god bringing you to the threshing floor Blessed are you, O preacher, if God brings you to the threshing floor, because God wants you to repent. The Lord said to me, listen, you may not like what I want to say. I sat before a social media, um, a YouTuber, who was exposing the things that are happening in the church. The guy is in South Africa also. 
What's that his name again? So I was listening. I saw some other guys in Nigeria. I was watching what they were saying. At a point, I was saying to myself, what is happening? Why is it that these guys are doing all these things? And the Holy Spirit said to me, they are part of my treasure floor. Because the ministers refuse to judge themselves. Well, you see, check the entire pastors, all of us that call as, 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 as pastors. We don't have a system for checking our moral lives. There is no system for checking our claims, our prophetic claims, our doctrines. We don't have the system. You know why? Because a sinner cannot cross-check a sinner. We are all living in sin. So rather, what happens when any of our scandals break out, we gather around the person whose scandal is out to cover him so that our own also will receive the same treatment when it comes out. That's the way we pass our behavior. So when any of us now come and say, hey, 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 adultery is a sin, they'll say, you are attacking your fellow minister. <laughs> so because we have shut the mouth of God, from confronting us as pastors. When our members get up, they want to talk to us, we say, touch not the anointed. When our members that love us and somehow we are sinking in immorality, when they want to confront us with a prophetic finger, we tell them, touch not the anointed. So we have shut the mouth of the Holy Spirit, not to use our members to confront us, not to use fellow pastors to confront us. God now says, okay, let me take you to the threshing floor. Listen! Listen, that's, that's how we have all the social media guys, the YouTubers, the bloggers, screaming and exposing our sins today to the whole world. Exposing our secrecy and shamelessly, many of us pastors are suing them to God. The ones in Africa have been sued severally. I say, and look at what God is doing. God is staring the hearts of men across the globe to give him money. To, 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 it was when God spoke to me like that that I, I wanted to send financial support to one. When God showed me that, oh, these are his guys, the treasure floor. Look at what the Lord said to me. Listen, this is fearful. He said, even you, if you don't live right, I will take you to the treasure floor. That's what the Lord said to me. He said, I will take you to the treasure floor if you don't live right. So it is the treasure floor. If you like, sue them to court. God will back them up. Because let's say we have, and look at what the Lord said to me. The Lord said to me, if we don't listen to them, all these social media guys, these YouTubers that are taking our scandals out, if we don't listen to them and repent, the Lord said to me, he will now use Babylon to deal with us. Because look at, look at, the same pattern that happened to Israel. Israel turned against God. God raised the prophet. They shut the mouth of the prophet. God raised systems like YouTubers. There's no time for me to show you. They shut their mouth. They didn't repent. And God now used Babylon. Babylon now came and demolished the whole of Jerusalem. And it was without inhabitants for 70 years. If we don't listen to all these YouTubers that are exposing our sins and repent, look at what's going to happen. God will use the government to close down churches globally. You will see it. Governments of nations will rise up and close down churches because of the scandals, the criminal activities we pastors are involved in and we call ourselves servants of God. Those are the things God shared with me. When he told me those things, I shivered also. For you to know that, listen, the, the word of the Lord is a two-edged sword. It's a two-edged sword. The word of the Lord. So if, you had, if God is using you on YouTube or Facebook to expose the sins that happen in the church, don't be afraid. You are executing a divine mandate. Don't allow anybody scare you and say you are touching the anointed. You are not touching any anointed. You are in a move of God. God is using you as a threshing floor to thresh us, we pastors. So that we wake up and stop this wickedness. Keep doing your work, my friend. Don't be afraid of anybody. Keep doing your work. 
is your job. Just make sure that whatever you are saying is true. Don't lie. Make sure that you are speaking things that are true. Verify your stories before you publish them. Don't lie against any preacher. Speak the truth. The Lord said to me, you are his treasure floor. Until we repent, you will keep doing it. But when we repent, you will stop. If we don't repent, a time is going to come that God will use the government to deal with us. Because that's what God does. He chastises his own if they refuse to sit up. Let he that hath. So, he chastises his own. That's what God, I, I've said it before. God has raised for himself armies on the internet those of you who watch my videos you will have seen that a couple of times um so <laughs> touch not my anointed <laughs> that's an anointed man of god that's a man that knows how to hear from god without saying without uh missing words he said it that, that even himself God said even himself, he did not do the right, if he didn't do the right thing, he would bring him to us. Yes, so, what are we saying? Change to it. That's just it. I've said it a lot of time. Change your ways. That's, that's just it. Is it that you change and do the right thing or you drop man of God from your, from your name? So that uh, there are thousands of you sleeping with women around now. Who cares about them? Nobody knows them. But because you attach the name of God with your name, it won't happen. We won't keep quiet. Blocking our videos will not help you. Bribing uh, some YouTubers will not help you. After Okay, come, come to think of it. With all the bribes, with all the money you have, you have given to some people, to YouTubers, to others, you know, to kill our stories. You spend so much money giving uh, Afro Noli so much money to, <laughs> to block our videos. Wasting money. Wasting people's resources. They pay tithe and offering to your job. What other job do you do than the title and offering you collect from your branches all over? Those are the things you use it for. Block YouTubers' video, sleep with women, bribe them and all that change that's just as simple as that but if you can remove that name and of god from your name trust me we we'll leave you alone some of your stooge that come to to my channel will say uh, you are using your channel your, your name to to grow your channel you want views okay tell your papa or a power whatever you call him to do the wrong thing so that my channel will not will not i know i not get views chicken if he does the right thing, okay, so we will leave him alone so that it's maybe it's, maybe we now, you say we don't have, I don't have work, so maybe we are now going to find out how work. But for now, Suleiman is my work. He must change or drop the name of God that is, is carrying on his head like a, like a, my people will say, hara hara, this man's good. So people, thank you for watching. Yeah, I won't do too long video for you. I promise. I don't want to uh, overwhelm you. I appreciate that you're using data to watch me. God bless you. Please subscribe to this channel. And uh, all of you there that are abusing me, please subscribe to. So, so that you say I'm lying. So that when I say the truth, I just responded to one now. Subscribe so that when I say the truth, you will hear it. <laughs> all right, people, stay safe. Uh, and... Um, Thank you for watching. Good night. Let me see your comment. Let me see your thoughts and everything. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye.